This is good. This is real good. 757 in Milwaukee? No, that's not your plane. Yours is this one rolling in. Oh, sure. Now you come around. Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reviewing and talking about a great baseball movie called Major League. This one came out April 7th, 1989, starring Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, Corbin Burnson, Margaret Witten, James Gannon, Rene Russo, and of course Wesley Snipes, Dennis Haysbird, and the great Bob Euchre. And uh, it's just an awesome movie that I'm sure most of y'all have seen. So we're going to talk about some of the great moments in this film. And uh, I think that uh, Ball Cap's got some questions for me. And as you can see, Ball Cap is here. And I think he just finished checking it out. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, just yeah, you know, what did you think of the uh, of the film? Just his overall uh, overall thought process. It's one of my favorite baseball movies. Of all time, I, I I actually like, you know, both Major League and Major League Two. I'm okay with both of them. I don't I don't know if that's blasphemous to say, but I I'm I'm all right with both of them. This one obviously is the better one, but love it. Yes, I did. I I made sure just so that uh, for the purposes of, of everything that we're about to do, I made sure that I watched the movie so everything is fresh. I am coming off of the high of the the comeback win, the Pedro Serrano two-run homer to tie the game late, uh, and then the Jake Taylor bunt in the, I guess that would have been the bottom of the ninth, mm -hmm. score Willie Hayes from second, and oh my God, the Indians win it yep. from, uh, from, from Bob Euchre slash Harry Doyle. So I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. I love it, um, you know. Thank you for having me on. This is this should be fun. I, I'm looking forward to talking about the movie. Yeah, dude. I, I this is one of my favorites. Is you just watched it for the first time, or you just hadn't seen it for a while? I've or? watched it a lot. I have oh, watched, watched it a lot, it a lot? I, but okay. I wanted to make sure that it was all new and fresh. Okay, yeah. Right? Like I, it was one of the forefront items of my mind when we when we yeah, sat Yeah, yeah. Okay, I figured you'd seen it. Uh, you know, if you're yeah, you know, yeah. a baseball fan like yourself, yeah, I've seen it many times. Mm -hmm. I watched it. I think uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday to get ready for this, but I've seen it so many times. And yeah, I, I agree. Major League Two is not bad. Uh, they did definitely water it down. I think it's rated PG, and and uh, Major League is a uh, R rated. You know, a little yeah, more hardcore. Major League, Major League is the kind of movie that when it's on like TNT or TBS or or MLB Network. The the first movie, it's it's kind of hard to watch, yeah, because of all the editing out that they have to do of the suggestive material and the swearing and all that. Major League Two was made a little bit easier to run in syndication, yeah. run on the uh, on the cable networks, yeah. But yeah, Major League, that's what part of why I love it though. It's they talk like the ball players would talk, and uh, the things that happen are hilarious. Uh, a little bit over the top with Pedro Serrano. Um, but yeah, it, it kicks off, just uh, gets right into it in spring training. They're the craziest characters. Uh, the call when uh, uh, he's trying to call all, they're trying to call all these players, and uh, they call uh, Ricky Vaughn. You know, say, hey, we'd love to have you in spring training. So, well, I'm not sure I can make it by then. And. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, he's, 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 he's in jail. Yes. Yeah, he's in jail. Um, you know, they call uh, the AAA manager, and uh, he's uh, running a tire shop. Uh, you know, uh -huh. so, so, you, you, would you like to manage in the major leagues? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a guy on the other line about white walls. <laughs> <laughs> white walls. And uh, so they're calling everyone. Uh, they, oh, they call Jake Tedder. What was his? He, he just thought it was a prank. He's in Mexico. He's in Mexico. Yep. Yeah, and he thought it was a prank. So um, it was a great way to introduce the character. Sometimes it feels forced to give you a backstory and to give you the introduction to 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 characters of a movie, right? Like they have to work in a line and yeah. in, in, in sort of a, a shoehorn kind of way. But it just felt natural because you know the way they started out is you got the new owner, she wants to move the team to Miami, so they've got this list of players for spring training, which. As a baseball fan, you're like, wait a minute, don't they already have like a team together? Yeah, that's the one. The one thing about the movie, you, you, you're kind of like, wait, are they building the team from scratch? Um, yeah. But they have the list of players, and and 
the movie follows us through the, the them reaching out to these guys to come and, and try out for the team. And it is, you know, I love the one part of the line is, uh, yeah, this guy's dead. And, and, and <laughs> the owner's like, well, cross him off. So I love that part. I mean, so, so it's a great way to start the movie to kind of give you the backstory without having to tell you the backstory. They show it to you. And then the whole spring training thing is, 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 Again, you see their personalities, right? Roger Dorn rolls up in a Rolls Royce, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, 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 Rick Vaughn gets dropped off by a taxi cab, and he's look. It he looks like he just got dropped off from the penitentiary. And even the coach on the side says, "Look at this effing guy." This is great. <laughs> it's a great way to start the movie. Yeah, and we can't forget um, Willie Mays Hayes showing up. Not even invited to camp. Not invited. <laughs> just shows up. Like, Who's this guy? I don't know who this guy is. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so they take his bed, and they did, this is the guy that we didn't invite. Just put him outside the camp, and then he, in his pajamas, mm -hmm. he comes and, and sprints and uh, says, "Get this guy a uniform because he's obviously yep. really fast." But uh, turns out he can't hit, hit nothing but foul balls. So uh, you know, he says, uh, it. "Yeah, you owe me uh, 20 push-ups or something every time you do that." Then it, fly and then what happens in the spring training game? He hits the hits a pop fly, starts doing the push-up. <laughs> yeah, I will say the I do want to uh, highlight to anybody that maybe hasn't watched the movie in a little bit, the opening scene. This is, I mean, I, I don't know if the people who were picking the team name were big fans of the movie or what, but the opening scene from this thing is an image of one of the guardians of transportation on the bridge. And it's and, and, and the guardian has that, you know, the, the logo with the, I don't know what it is the yeah. the feathers or not the feathers, but you know, it has that you basically have the foreshadowing for the direction that the team will go down the road. It's absolutely uh, it's 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 crazy to yeah. see that. I, 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 this is the first time I'd watched the movie since the team officially changed the name to Guardians. So to see that, I was like, oh, my, I, I stopped and pointed out, oh, my God, <laughs> yeah. look, it's one of the Guardians of Traffic. Yeah, first frame of the movie. And yep. a, a great uh, song, a Randy Newman song uh, to yep. start it off. And uh, great music all the way through. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, favorites. yeah, great soundtrack. Uh, just amazing, even just the instrumentals during spring training, yep. and you know, it just it just really keeps it going, keeps the energy level up, and uh, yes. yeah, it's just an insanely fun movie. And that's just the beginning. The first 20, 30 minutes, if you're not hooked, man, I don't know if you you know this. And the soundtrack really does, to your point, it's sort of a a casual, playful beginning, right in spring training. It, it matches the mood. They did a wonderful job for how for how hokey this movie can be at times. You know, the whole thing with Serrano, he wants to sacrifice a live chicken before the last game, and they bring him a bucket of KFC <laughs> chicken. It can be hokey at times, but they absolutely nailed it in a couple of departments, and we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll dive into that a little bit more, but the soundtrack is perfect. It matches the mood. It takes you along uh, from the spring training soundtrack to the to the, to the the instrumentals, the, the soundtrack, the score for the final game, for the build-up for the final game. It's perfect. Yeah, it, absolutely. It, it's, it's an awesome score. And, yeah, we, so we meet all the characters. They're just insane. Uh, see them uh, in the, uh, you know, in spring training in the locker room and everything. It, it, just the way they interact, it's, uh, you know, the, who's the old time? Roger Dorn, uh, yep. you know, picking on uh, the younger players, talking shit to uh, – Ricky Vaughn. Yeah, Ricky, of course, Ricky Vaughn. And Ricky Vaughn gives him the puts look. the red tag. He puts the red tag in his The in red his tag. That's a great, that entire concept. And uh, watching Willie Mays Hayes try to, you know, try to uh, look. He didn't want to open his eyes. And, uh, right. you know, have, right. uh, uh, Pedro Serrano with the snake. And then uh, right. he's got a big snake. And then uh, Willie Mays Hayes get the little garden snake. The little, yeah. <laughs> but, Let me uh, ask you, who is... It might be unfair to try to make you pick one, so you can give me two or three, but your favorite characters from the movie. Who do you have? You don't gotta, you know, give me a ranking or anything, but just who who are you who are your favorite characters out of this out of this movie? I've always loved Pedro Serrano right off the bat. He's a power hitter. You know, he, he shows mm -hmm. up. He reminds me of myself. He shows up at spring training because I, I used to be a, a good home run hitter, but I couldn't hit curveball. I couldn't hit, right. the, <laughs> hit the, the curve or the, uh, anything like that, anything with movement. I'm done. Right. You know, you throw it straight, you know, 80 miles, 90 miles an hour, I can hit it. But uh, mm -hmm. so he shows up at spring training, starts hitting all these home runs. They're impressed mm -hmm. with him. Um, 
and uh, he's just hilarious. Uh, obviously, he's, he's, he's Cuban. He speaks uh, Spanish, but uh, the, the, the actor who portrays him is, obviously doesn't speak Spanish, but he does a pretty good job. And uh, right. it's just an awesome uh, character. But So he'd probably be my number one right off the top of my head. As it's well. Dennis, that's Dennis Haysbert, the Allstate yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah, the Allstate You're guy. You're in good hands with yeah. Allstate. <laughs> and he's also in Mr. Baseball. So I, I think he played in high school because he he's got a really good swing, and I think uh, – he played some of the guys. I mean, it's it's a movie. You can tell some of the, if you watch baseball. If you're a huge baseball fan. Sometimes the way they throw the ball or something like ah, it doesn't look look, look like a. Ba- it's one of the better. You know? It's but one it's, of the it's better one of, movies. Yeah, it's one of the better ones. Yep. That's for sure. I've seen some you can't watch. Like you got. I, yeah, yeah, this like this guy. I think uh, what was it? The Scout. Uh, oh God, Brandon, Brandon Fraser. Fraser. He could, he could oh throw. God. You you have to. It, Charlie Sheen's a big baseball guy, right? Yeah. Um, he he, he was also in. Um, the, the Black Sox, eight men out. Right? Yeah, eight um, men out. Yes. So he was in. He he he's a big sports guy. So great. I mean that that's perfect. Um, yes, you you need your actors to have some ability to play baseball. Yeah, and and that 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 helps. That's another. Again, for the most part, most of these guys can throw a ball. Uh, and and look like an athlete. Look pretty doing good, it, and that's another good job. Even Ed Harris, they kind of looked like a junk ball. Kind of, you could tell he wasn't throwing. But he was supposed right. to be an older guy in his forties. Exactly, he was supposed he's to. He's supposed look like to. That. And yeah, I, I love how he's got. There's a point in the movie where they're in the locker room, and he's like Vaseline, <laughs> Crisco, <laughs> have a little jalapeno. My nose is shot on the ball. I'm like, dude, is this movie? 2020 like yeah 2021 yeah this is this is perfect he even mentions that the ump see me you know that's when yeah i think it's the snot and then uh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah uh ricky vaughn's like you put that snot on the ball it's fucking disgusting he said you you have to too someday kid <laughs> uh-huh. but yeah uh-huh. so yep but no the baseball is pretty close there's you know obviously it's not always perfect but it's pretty close um and uh it's just yeah, a lot of fun and uh obviously they're trying to well the owner wants the team to lose, like you said, moved the team to Miami. So she puts this terrible team together. Uh, but they actually start to do decent. They win here and there. Um, and uh, that's when it starts, uh, you know, to, to really get going once they get there. Because, of course, they got to suck for, for a while. They got to be bad. Yep. Yeah, that's that's kind of the key. And that first <laughs> opening day is hilarious. They keep on dropping the ball. Remember when the, the ball falls in and Willie Mae, oh, and he kind of yep. falls backwards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The, we see it happen in major league you know occasionally a ball, fly do. ball and a, do. yeah it's it's insane that it happens at the major league level that fly ball that three or four guys you know come together and nobody calls it and it falls in there it happens several times but, life uh, imitates art that is for sure i i actually used i did a a a, a player lock video for a nate pearson start in 2020 where it was against Miami, and he was just getting roughed up. Uh, the, the the fielders behind him were not doing him any 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 good. So I, you know, the whole point was just to try to focus on Nate Pearson, and it was his second or third start for the Blue Jays, and it turned into this charade. And I'm like, why? I I recorded this. What am I going to do with this now? It's like uh, it's garbage. So I took clips from the movie. From uh, from Major League of uh, you know of Harry Doyle with some of his quotes because Nate Pearson goes on a stretch where he walks everybody. Oh, so I geez. take the ball four, <laughs> the ball eight, just a bit outside, all yes. that stuff. I take, I put that in there. The clip you're talking about where the ball drops in, I, I put that in there because that happens in that in that uh, in that Nate Pearson start where the ball drop. It looks like it should be caught. Kevin Biggio and Teoscar Hernandez sort of have a yeah. miscommunication or, or <laughs> it, it drops between the two of them. And it's like, what? This is this is Major League. And I was like, oh, I got it. Yeah, I'll snag some Major League clips. It's it, yeah, it, it totally happens, um, you know, in real life. But uh, yeah, the team starts doing pretty good. So that's when Rachel Phelps, the owner, says, well, we need, we need to start taking away some of their stuff. You know, we're, we're cod- yeah. coddling these guys too much. So yeah. They get the plane, the rickety plane, falling apart. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, for, he says, uh, "Oh, that's nice, the 747." And then he's like, "No, that's not y'all plane. It's right here." Right. Got- I love Roger Dorn. Roger Dorn on that plane. He's, he's he's when it's when it's shaking and it's moving and there's a lightning storm and he's got his uh, his oh, yeah. on and, and he's all uncomfortable, like he's looking around for something. His him on the plane in that in that in that scene always gets me. 
Yeah, that was that was a good one. I think uh, Ed, uh, you, yeah, Ed Harris said something to Serrano because they're having their little uh, argument over religion. Uh, now, now, oh, because yeah, uh, he he did some oh, yeah, kind now, of a now now yeah. now you believe, huh? Because he was doing some kind of prayer or that Catholic yep. uh, prayer. Yep. So uh, that was hilarious. But yeah, and then they're fixing the plane. The guy's fixing the plane with like duct tape at one point, uh, uh-huh. putting it around the <laughs> one of the propellers or whatever. Uh, yeah, just insane. Yep. Um, and that's the subtlety. That's the subtleties for this movie that you just got to appreciate. The little things yeah. that they thought of to work into it, because there's there's obviously the big stuff, right? You're gonna look for Lou Brown and Harry Doyle and and, and the, some of the relationships between different uh, characters to kind of carry it. That little stuff, though, really helps helps uh, carry the movie along and make it make makes it so great. Oh yeah, absolutely, and yeah, they're just the characters, you know, just amazing uh, writing, amazing casting too, uh, performances. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Lou Brown is awesome, and that's part of why I like Major League Two. I don't know if we're gonna do a Major League Two, but you know, remember the part where he freaks out, starts screaming, and everyone's it. It hilarious. But and then he had the heart attack. Yeah, he had the yes. heart attack. He's never coming up with excuses. Everyone's yeah. coming up with excuses. <laughs> and then a heart attack. Well, who said anything about a heart attack? Me. <laughs> he goes yeah. down. Yeah, that's the funniest. Yeah. But that's Major League Two. But that yeah. is hilarious. But in this yeah. one, he's got some good scenes. But that scene I'll never forget from Major League oh, Two. Great. I was dying. So yeah. Major League Two has its moments. It, it definitely it is. It's it's not bad at all. But I love Lou, Lou Brown is definitely one of my favorites out of this movie. I mean, I actually kind of looking back watching this, I'm like, okay, I'm thinking about it, and it really was. It was. It wasn't. I mean, Rick Vaughn, sure. Uh, you know the character he portrays and everything. Roger Dorn is just such a pompous ass you yeah. know, that, that that you just kind of it makes you laugh. But it really was Lou Brown. Um, Lou Brown played by James Gammon, and it was uh, it was it was Harry Doyle played by Bob Uecker. I absolutely love that. I actually think if we're gonna think about who kind of steals the movie, sort of thing. I, I think he, I think Bob Euchre maybe came into it. Obviously, Bob Euchre, you're not expecting him to play a secondary role. He's the he's, he's sort of narrating as we go, right? But Bob Euchre just absolutely takes over this movie, uh, and and without him in it, I don't know if it if this movie works. Absolutely love what um, what they did with that Harry Doyle character. It's it, it's hysterical. Um, I want to run some quotes by, you know, that okay. I think everybody, everybody remembers. I mean, maybe the most famous thing that comes from this is just a bit outside. Yeah. yeah. That is, it's so simple. Uh, and it really was great because the ball was, it, it couldn't be further away from the, from the <laughs> catcher. I mean, it, 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 when it was he close. said, uh, I, how, how are guys laying off pitches this close? Right. Top of the sixth and rookie sensation, Ricky Top Vaughn on the pitch now. You can close the book on Kellner. Oh, thank God. Relax, Ricky. We're only four runs down. We're still in this game. You take it to him. Oh, all right. Look, man. Guy gets a second. First sign indicator. Vaughn, a juvenile delinquent in the offseason in his Major League debut. I'm going to light your ass up, me. Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. <laughs> right, exactly. Here you go. <laughs> He goes, uh, he goes, one hit, that's all we got, one, <laughs> one goddamn, goddamn hit. <laughs> you, you can't say goddamn on air. Ah, don't worry, nobody's <laughs> listening anyway. <laughs> um, where was that? In case you haven't noticed, and judging by the attendance, you haven't, yeah. the Indians have managed to win a few here. Um, and there's one more, where was it? Um, uh, he's trying to find the sponsorship. He's like, ah, uh, <laughs> I, I did. Show brought to you by, ah, Christ, I can't find it to Man, hell with it. I, I, I just... It's, it's so I've good. done. I've done this. I've used that on my live stream like two or three times. I was like, yeah. like, hey, Eric, <laughs> Eric, you, you got a sponsorship? Yes. Like, oh, actually, I do have a sponsor. It is. Uh, I can't find it. To hell with them. <laughs> right. Oh, it's great. I mean, it, and 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 to, to the to the writer's credit, and and talking about you know Major League Two, Harry Doyle again. Nothing, yeah. Nothing but gold. Again, in Major League yeah. Two. I mean, absolutely. Where he, they, they, where they take Harry Doyle in Major League Two. Yeah, fantastic. he said uh, Major League Two is that's when he, I think that's Major League Two. He says, uh, "Welcome back to Major League Baseball." Sort of. Right. So. He's drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> yeah. And they get into a fight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on the sidelines. 
uh, you know, Monty wakes him up and he's like, oh, oh, the, the Indians are showing signs of life for the first time. I mean, and they're getting into a fight. Love it. Aaron yeah. Boyle. And I, I think mean, uh, parts. Hall yep. of Fame, Hall of Fame uh, baseball, uh, you know, a movie character, Harry Doyle. Yeah. First ballot. Yeah, I think part two also is uh, the opponent, uh, the opposing team hits the ball, looks like it's going to be a home run as soon as he hits it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Serrano's going to need a rocket up his ass to catch Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Let me ask you this. I, I had some feuds that I wanted to run by you. I want you to let me know what is your favorite feud from the movie. So you've got mm-hmm. Rick Vaughn and yeah. Roger Dorn. Okay, Vaughn and Dorn from the beginning. That's huge, Dorn, yeah. Dorn's pranking him uh, in, in spring training, making him think he's cut. And then at the end, you got Vaughn uh, banging banging uh, Dorn's <laughs> wife yeah. before the final game. Okay, so you got that right there, and then you know Dorn lays into him at the end. Uh, Serrano and Eddie Harris, the you know oh, yeah. the whole religion thing. You know Harris goes through and and, and takes a, a shot of the rum, and as he's walking out for practice, he says, "Hey bartender, <laughs> Joe Boo needs a refill," um, and he gets hit with a bat. Um, yeah. I love the part he gets hit with the bat. And this is the little stuff. He's laying on the as soon as he hits the ground, he's like shit. He's just on the ground. It's just little stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. I Eddie Harris because could, that could have that that moment could have gone without anything. It could have just been he's hitting the bat and he's on the ground. But they throw in there shit. <laughs> um, Rachel Phelps and Lou Brown. Okay, right? they, yeah, yeah. Definitely the rivalry there about. Relocating the team, taking everything away. Lou Brown standing there naked in the in, in the locker room, and Rachel Phelps is in the locker room, and the, the, you know, yeah. Lou Brown's. Like, I don't care. Or and maybe a little more tongue in cheek, Harry Doyle and his his color analyst Monty. Monty. What is your <laughs> What is your favorite feud yeah. out of this uh, out of this movie? Um, I think uh, my favorite is. My favorite, probably the, the funniest one, which is the Pedro Serrano uh, and uh, uh, Eddie, uh, Ed Harris. Uh, is it Ed Harris? Yep. Yeah. Um, Eddie yeah. Harris. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie Harris. Yeah. That's just, uh, it's, it's so hilarious. But maybe the more important one for the movie is probably, uh, um, you know, Ricky Vaughn and uh, Roger Dorn, because that's such, that plays a really important part in the, in the plot towards the end and everything. It really does. Yeah. It really does. That, that's, yeah. I mean, you've got, and that comes full circle, right? That is. Yeah. At the beginning and at the end of the movie, yeah. and then there's tension throughout. And right? uh, yeah. Serrano and Eddie Harris, it's playful, it's funny, it's it's this, it's that. They, they, they don't have a ton of screen time uh, with the two of them, with their stuff, but it's it's quick, it's good. Phelps and Brown, that doesn't pick up till later in the movie. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, Doyle and Monty's just for fun. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I think I agree with you on, on those points. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that that last uh, the, the the Ricky Vaughn one, you know, at the end, it's it's, it's help, you know, it shows how serious it is. He when he approaches when Roger Dorn approaches the mound, we're like, oh crap, he's about yeah. to punch him. He's about to say, did you, did you screw my wife? He says, right, you got I got one thing to say, strike this effing guy out. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. was an awesome moment right there. And then, but he did punch him later, of course. But that was part of the celebration, and it was right. pretty cool. But and that's sort of you know. Um, some memorable moments that kind of stood out to me, you know, you, you brought up the whole, um, uh, the, the little mound meeting between Dorn and Vaughn right before that. It, it, would you, what's the standout pit of pivotal, 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 there we go, moment from the movie for you? I've got, uh, it, it, is it, it might be, it's at the end. Is it the Rick Vaughn wild thing intro? Is, is oh, that, man. When you think about what you take away from this movie, one moment, I think a lot of people take away a lot of Harry Doyle's quotes. But it, 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 as far as a movie moment, you know, that, that Cleveland run to the playoffs, that montage is great. The whole Rachel Phelps cutout thing. Can't forget about that. Um, the ending is certainly uh, yeah. theatrical with, with, the, with the bunt. You know, they go with the bunt instead of a home run here, right? So yeah. Of, Again, tells the tale of the movie, you know. Um, so you have Taylor's bunt and Willie Hayes scores from second and there's a celebration and, you know, Harry Doyle, oh my God, the Indians win it. Is is Rick Fonz, is that Wild Thing intro? Because they, the, the crowd is nuts. Yeah. Is that the movie moment from this that you think people take away when they look back to the movie and what they think about? What, what, 
What do you think about that? It might be that, that, but that entire game to me was just thrilling. I think the, the game, was. the game is, and it, it, it's like realistic. You know, it was zero zero for the longest time. They had the home run. Ha- well, first they take a two run lead. You know, he gives up a home run, and yep. uh, then it's Serrano. You know, who had he's pretty struck out. Couldn't even hit the ball the entire game. That's the right. moment where he chews out his bat. Says you yep. know, and he hits that home run. You know, I mean, it's a yep. it's a game tying home run. Game's not over or anything, but it's just, it's a huge moment. Um, mm-hmm. Yankees score a, a run or two more. I don't, you know, and then, uh, yeah, then the great comeback. But yeah, the second part, second move, I think it ends the game with Ricky Vaughn. He actually gets the close, closes out the game. But, um, yep. but still, yeah, that entire game. Yeah, but when he came out from the bullpen, that was uh, was a big moment right there. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if that might be the biggest takeaway, but uh, there's yeah. so many moments when I think of Major League, I don't, I don't always think just of that. I think of you know all the things we've been talking about. But yeah, that game was was awesome. Uh, the entire game was edge of your seat. Great, uh, like little music, you know, sometimes softer. When you, the moment that he looks at the scoreboard, you can tell they're running out of time. You get like flashbacks mm-hmm. to to big playoff games that, as baseball fans that we watch, you know, you, you know, and obviously you figure, you know, if you're watching for the first time, you don't yeah. figure they're gonna win. But that's not always, you know. Sometimes baseball movies in. Bad news bears. I'm watching. They lose the last games. You don't always right. know, but uh... right. One one item. I think we should we should bench it. We'd be remiss if we didn't. Um, movie shot all the on field stuff. Milwaukee County Stadium throughout. You can see the WTMJ. Uh, you know, o- over the scoreboard. You can see it at certain shots and the in, at, at other uh, parts of the stadium. And WTMJ is the, the the NBC affiliate. I also think it's the radio affiliate. For, I, I can't. It can't be both. It, it, but it, it's one of them. Uh, but you have WTMJ is the Milwaukee affiliate. So the the the, the games are are the play. The action is filmed there in Milwaukee with yeah. a lot of a lot of. But they obviously got a lot of exterior shots and, and a lot of other stuff um, from Cleveland. From Cleveland, but, yeah. You know, you're watching Rick Vaughn. On the mound, when you're watching, you know all all those game activities. That's in Mil, that's in Milwaukee. Yeah, I, I mean, and a good job by them because you know unless you're really searching it out, you you no, you yeah, might not, who's searching? You might not it. Yeah, no, not really. Uh, I never noticed it, but I, I did. I did remember hearing that. Yeah, it was a take. It took place in Milwaukee uh, County Stadium. So that's that's awesome. Yeah, I think it had to do with the scheduling. Like they 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 were not able to work around. Uh, they weren't able to work around. The, the the Indian schedule or, or things Cleveland had going on with with the stadium uh, to to do that, but I mean they picked the right one because it looks a lot like the the yeah. Cleveland Indian Stadium did back in the late eighties and early nineties before they went to uh, you know where they're at now. Yeah, uh, and uh, I see some moments you see little football stripes on the field, things like that, and it's, it makes right. it. Yeah, realistic and everything. Uh, I, I, that's why I love this movie. I mean, it's not completely realistic, you know, with the, you know, the over-the-top characters, but you know, you got to have it. So, it's great. Yeah, it's a, an awesome movie. But did you have any more trivia or anything like that you were uh, thinking of? Let or? me think. Did I have anything more? We had uh, we had the, those those were my uh, my my did you knows uh, the whole Guardian transportation on the opening scene okay. and and the Milwaukee Fulton County Stadium. Um, yeah, that is what else do we have? That's that is all for me. I mean, at the end of the day, this movie is hands down. I don't. We can we can wind it down on this one. Where where does it rank for you? For me, it is hands. It is it is a no doubt top five. Um, I'll even go as far as to say if we're creating a Mount Rushmore, um, it, it's in the top four. I. I I don't even. I don't know if I have a number one. I, I You're think talking about just, baseball movies? Oh, baseball movies! Baseball movies. Yeah. I, this is no doubt top five. Again, I'll even. I'll even. I'll go top four. I don't know if it's top. I don't know if it's number one for me because I don't know if I have a number one because there's there's a it's, there's like a tie. There's like a three no, or four way tie for number one. What about you? It's it, it's number. It came. I did a video. I did a top ten baseball movies back during the. Uh, one of the many uh, times there was no bay. I think it was, <laughs> not the I, lockout, I just, but uh, but point. when the COVID nineteen uh, first when canceled spring training or, or uh, mm-hmm. uh, I did a top ten and I had it number one. So there you go. Right? Major League is my number one. Your number one. Good, yeah. Good. And uh, I don't remember what I, I had. Uh, I think I had eight men out on the top ten somewhere. I had uh, did Major League Two. Did Major League Two make your top? 10? Yeah, it had to have been on there. I I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure Major League Two uh, and uh, what's that movie called? Uh, 
uh, Moneyball. <laughs> I put Moneyball on there yeah. somewhere. I like that, that one. A good one. Moneyball. Um, Moneyball was a really good movie. But yeah, Moneyball is a totally different kind of movie. You're not going to be like mm-hmm. laughing out of the whole time. It's funny, but not like Major League. You know. But no, Major no. League's all timer, all time classic. I don't know if there's really any flaws other than little things like you mentioned, like little baseball. If you're a huge baseball fan, you're gonna be like, wait, that that doesn't, that's not how it works. A other, couple things, yeah, yeah, a couple things don't jive. But at the same time, you know, it 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 works. Yeah, I mean, you've got- I mean if she really was the owner, she shouldn't she she would just send some. If they're doing too well, you just send them down to the minor leagues and find some sorry terrible player sure. in the minor leagues and and right. and bring him up. And, you could always lose if you want to, you know, if you're... Yeah, exactly. You, know. you just start trading. Anybody that's doing well, trade them away. Trade yeah. them for a prospect. Yeah, you know, so she didn't trade anyone or send anyone down or do anything like that because, you know, then we wouldn't have a movie. So uh, yeah. it makes sense, but... No, it's 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 really flaw-free outside of if you are a diehard baseball fan, which I'm sure there's a lot of people that watch this, uh, that would just kind of pick out some things like, well, that wouldn't happen, or that would happen differently. Right? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you would have some idea who was coming to the team for spring training. Um, you, like you said, if you really wanted to tank and lose, you trade away your best players for prospects and all. Like, but it, it, that's, but again, that's just you know, that's that's really not anything that takes away from no. you know, how good this movie is. No, and uh, I just figured, you know, there, who's the guy? There's a guy next to her. He's like the GM or something, and he's kind of rooting for them, but she, she keeps telling him to shut up. Uh, you know, he'll be uh, cheering when I they win. I know who you're talking about. Uh, was that um, and she'll say, you Charlie. Know, Charlie. Charlie, yeah, Charlie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe uh, if he's – I think he's the GM, so I just kind of – the way I, I just figure he's the one who's in charge of doing that, so he's not going to do that because he actually secretly wants them to win. So, yep. yeah, so – um, uh, one more, one more. Did you know if if you weren't paying attention, the janitor from Scrubs is in this movie. He oh, is really? one. He is the. They, they have these montages where they're going around, and you know these guys stink. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Know, these guys ain't so bad. Uh, he, he's in the bar. So um, the 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 jan- janitor from Scrubs is uh, sort of uh, placed in. Uh, in the movie very very short bits throughout oh, okay. but um i'm just i'm just thinking of other uh, other other characters that uh that were in it that's really the the main um that's probably really the only other big like hidden uh hidden hidden character in this in the in the in the movie haywood was the name of the player the 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 yankees oh haywood uh, yeah 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 who, who is, you know vaughn's giving up homer sue that is actually pete vukovic who was a professional baseball yeah. oh, player? Oh yeah, he was actually a pitcher. Funny enough, uh, he was he was a pitcher. Well, he um, could he could hit though because you could tell from that, or at least he could hit on screen. <laughs> well, that swing did, did look legit to me. I don't know. It did. He it, just it did. I, it's, it's very it's very true. Yeah, so I guess for a baseball movie, it's a definitely a ten out of ten to me. Um, yeah, I think you would agree. I mean, it it, it couldn't get much better. Hundred um, percent. Yeah, and so, you know, I hope you all enjoyed it, and hopefully we can uh, do some more baseball movies sometime. And, uh, yeah, there is a Major yeah. League 2. There's a Major League 3, too, back to the minors. Uh, have you seen that? Yeah, I oh, seen yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. Yeah, I, I, I own it, but, you know, I'm a baseball freak. I mean, I, I don't hate it, but it's nothing. It's nowhere near the ballpark of these first two yeah, movies. Yeah, there, there is a drop-off. I mean, oh, yeah. I think Tanaka was the main character yeah. in, in Major League 3. And he's he was, he's uh, in it. I don't know if he's the main character, but he's in it oh, he for was, sure. He, he was one of them. He was or he was one of the carryover characters. Right? Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the, the Serrano shows was, up in it. Serrano's in yep, it. Uh, he does. Dorn, I think, is in it. Uh, an owner or a GM yes. of, the, of the Twins yes. minor league team. It's It switches, right. it switches to the Twins. Uh, uh, Roger Dorn is like the owner of the or it's GM something and uh, it's got yep. the guy Scott Bal- Baluka Bakula I don't know how to say his name from uh, Bacula Bacula <laughs> from uh, from uh, I from that show he jumps around uh, it's, uh, it's 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 um, <laughs> it's a star it's a star not, not a Star Wars but uh, oh, what the hell what the heck is it Quantum Leap Yes Quantum, Quantum Leap. Leap Yes <laughs> Yes. I'm, I'm scrolling through trying to find it. I'm like, I think it's it's not Star Wars. It's not Star Trek. Yeah, uh, Quantum Leap. <laughs> That's what I know. For. He's in a bunch of movies. I just I uh, I just think of as Quantum Leap. But yeah, no, yeah. Major League Three is not that good. There's a lot of really good baseball movies, but this one is number one for me. Uh, sure. Probably number one for you, or at least. 
close top five. It's in the, it's tied. Yeah. It's it, I've got a top four. It's a I've got a, 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 a what's what's the uh, Mount Rushmore. I got a top four. I cannot yeah. narrow it down to one. I just can't do yeah. it. I got I got a top four. All right. So I appreciate everyone uh, jumping in, and I uh, hope you all have a fantastic day. Make sure you go to Ball Camp Sports. Hit the subscribe button over there. Um, Ball Camp Sports doing big things. I don't know where you're at now. Fifteen thousand. Something like that. We passed 16 where it's... 16. Oh, 16. Yeah, you're killing yeah, it. We're at 16.2. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been some good growth uh, the last... No, oh, yeah, you're months. killing it. Every time I see you live, I'm, at least up until, I don't know about now, after the lockout, but up until... It's the, been slower. It's yeah. Been, it's, been slower. <laughs> yeah. it's still good. It's still, still good, good. It's okay. definitely not... I mean, it's it's not the same kind of hype. I mean, just the hype isn't there right yeah. now, right? We don't, have, we don't have crazy moves going on. We need it. Be great. Yeah, but uh, but no, it's um, it's 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 still going well. And again, right. ball, any, any of my ball cap nation people that are in here, I salute you. Thank yeah. you, ball yeah, cap nation for your support. And I, Eric, I appreciate you. No problem. Uh, you know, let's, doing this together. This was fun. I would like to do more. I would like to do more of these. Maybe we can try to get a schedule. You know, maybe we try to do at least like one of these a month or something. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You, know, you can put on both channels. It's like we kind of did with the. Uh, with the uh, baseball, Ken Burns. Ken Burns yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. You know what's that's up. right. All right, so y'all have a fantastic day. Go hit that subscribe button over at Ball Cap Sports, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.